And we strive in this company to be the best. Okay? And a lot of times you have to understand it's not just what you do, it's there's a bigger picture here. And today I want to find, you know, let you people know what we stand for and where we came from because a lot of times you have to really understand a little bit about where you came from to understand where you're going. What I know is that stories were always there. What I'm seeing here today and, and yesterday is how important storytelling is in the entrepreneurial world. We all have a story and all entrepreneurs are very interested in what's your story and how does it impact your community and what you're doing in your little world, uh, wherever you're from. Well, my commitment is going to be in, in, in my companies. I'm going to, uh, I tell my story, but I really, I want to hear my staff story and they are a big part of, of our success and uh, I want to hear it and listen to their story and how I incorporate that into making our company even more special than it is. People all say, do you get it? Okay? Kelly, do you get it? Kelly, do you even get it? Well, it's that, that it thing that we talk about in our business. That's the difference between us and the others. And I say it, okay? And I go around the room and ask anyone, what is the it factor in your business? And what's the it factor in you? And I can say to Marion, what is the it factor at Sims? Okay? And the experience you do there behind the bar. So today we're going, to, we're going to talk a bit about that. But also, one thing that I learn all the time, all successful companies, I believe, have a soul. Now, I'm not going to get into preaching here, okay? It's not about that. It's about what you've created and what that is. And, and I think from us, and I, I talk when I say us to me, I mean all of us, but Kathy and I, and how we're part of the company, and how we enjoy the company, and how we live and breathe the company, and, and you see us and you say, wow, that's the way we want to live in our business, okay? We have fun, we enjoy it, and I know that when you guys are having fun in your different jobs, guess who else is having fun? I guess. So the soul of the company is, is kind of like something that we try to do. Is it intentional? No, it's not. It's real. Years ago, it was just good food and great service, okay? And didn't even make that big restaurant. You got to wait, okay? Uh-oh. Now, if you don't have great food and great service in a clean restaurant, you're, you're off to a bad start. That's the basic, basic start to be a successful business, okay? Um, so we've got to go that extra, extra bit, okay? With regards to creating an experience. I always look at, I believe we have great food, great service, great restaurants, clean, I believe that, okay? Press this around, do your audits, make sure all that stuff is good, okay? But you know what, this one thing is not missing. We do, we do a great job. But the important thing is, what are we wrapping around those three things to create the experience? The experience is when they leave the place and they just say, wow, wow. <laughs> That's great experience. And you know what it's called? It's called hospitality. It's called PEI hospitality. It's that simple. It's you. We go there tomorrow. I know that. Okay? Um, but for us, it's kind of like that's part of our fabric. That's part of our soul. We'll do anything really to go the extra mile to guess it's in us. Okay? When you start with a company, you say, wow, she does it, he does it. Wow, it's all those. When it comes to doing that extra thing. Monica, where are you? She's here. Where are you? Where are you? Sweet little Monica. <laughs> Guys, we were in town the other night, or I was in town, and I was at Sam's, and we were with a guy from Hockey Canada who worked with Molson for 20 years. They know the service business, knows it all, and we're just chatting up and saying, well, we've got to take you down to Sam's. Have some of the best oysters in town. So, Monica was there, Mary and you weren't there, but you would have done the same thing. But anyway, she caught the oysters, and I said to myself, well, watch this. Okay? So, I hit the play button. And 
Monica started to tell this guy, Mike Ross was his name, not the same Mike Ross that was for us, about the oysters. And she gave a story to the oysters about what bay they came from, how they tasted, how deep the, 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 the thing was, the bay, and the flow of water. That's what makes this oyster better than this oyster. It was an experience. He never experienced it. He never he loved oysters. He said, I never, ever thought oysters were like that. He always said, she should be selling beer. <laughs> No, 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 no. You should, you should be selling oysters. Okay? And that night it was oysters. Interesting. We are the best at selling oysters. And we got a brand new oyster bar opening up soon. Okay? At the Merchant Inn. <coughs> you know, there's a story. Everything is about a story in this business. There's a story. People like to know the story. They want to know where did that beef come from? Man, come with me. I'll show you the fridge where the beef is, and I'll tell you where the cows came from. Guys, <laughs> that's what they want to hear. It's all about the story.